When I was 19 years old, I went on my first mission trip, which interestingly was to Korea and the Philippines, uh, the site of the fourth and the second congresses. Um, it was an exciting time as I experienced uh, the joy of sharing the gospel. It was an embarrassing time as I realized how bad my Korean language ability was. Um, and it was a sanctifying time as I learned to trust God when I was completely not in control, which was most powerfully experienced uh, when I was on a bus and the road beneath us started violently shaking from a massive earthquake that struck us outside Manila. Uh, while in Korea, I had another life-changing experience. I had the opportunity to uh, visit a leper colony on an island off the coast. Um, I was amazed at a group of Christian lepers who would gather for hours each day to worship the Lord. Uh, for hours upon hours of the day, uh, they would listen to uh, tapes of the Bible. Most of them could not see as their eyes were merely sockets, uh, but listening to the tapes of God's word for hours a day, every single one of them had memorized the entire New Testament and some even the Old Testament as well. Um, while I sat there uh, kind of fumbling through the Bible, trying to find the passage from 2 Samuel, while they all simply recited the verses from memory. Uh, I sat next to one man who I'll never forget. Uh, he was 59 years old, and he first arrived on the island when he was a 19-year-old young man, just like I was at the time. Uh, at first, I, I, I felt sorry for him as I saw his uh, disfigured hands and face. But then as I heard him reciting God's word along with the old cassette recording of the Bible and saw his ugly face turn beautiful with a smile, uh, I wondered if I actually was the one in danger of missing out on life. Uh, he inspired me as a young man to see the life-changing power of learning, memorizing, and living out the amazing Word of God. Uh, and it gave me the most beautiful picture of the incredible blessing of listening to God in community. Uh, not just a few verses or even a few chapters, but for gloriously extended periods of time. Uh, one of the key themes for the Lausanne 4 journey is listening listening to one another, and especially listening to God. I want to invite you to be a part of, or even to start your own community where you listen to God's word together and have time to share and pray together and go more deeply in your scripture engagement. Uh, for Lausanne, we have a community of workplace influencers who gather online to listen to God's word together. And we'll be starting a new group soon that will listen to God weekly. And Lord willing, we'll have the blessing of listening to the entire Bible leading up to Seoul 2024, the fourth Lausanne Congress. Uh, so we invite you to join us. Um, and in closing, I just wanted to say that I look forward to introducing you in heaven one day to that dear brother with leprosy and giving him the hug I should have given him when I was 19.